It has figures are shocking, five times more than earlier estimates. Until now, it's been difficult gaining access into areas in Nigeria's northeast to assess the true extent of the Boko Haram insurgency. And previous tolls were based on media reports. Borno State is the worst affected region in Nigeria. Its governor, Kasim Shatima, says the latest death toll was compiled with the assistance of local leaders. The Boko Haram insurgency has led to death of almost 100,000 persons, going by the estimate of our community leaders over the years. 2,114,000 persons have become internally displaced as of December 2016 with 537,815 in separate camps. The numbers are astonishing. Previously, government officials had disputed the figures. This time, though, there doesn't seem to be disagreement from officials. We will go with uh, the figure that the governor has given, which is about uh, 100,000. Uh, most people who have tried to uh, calculate or tabulate the deaths from Boko Haram have done this by media reports. But it's also very impossible for the media to be able to cover all the deaths that have been recovered so far, all the deaths that have, have occurred so far, because uh, indeed the Northeast remains a media black hole. So a more conservative figure is 100,000, as Governor Shatima has said. So likely the number of people killed could be much higher. Boko Haram launched its insurgency in Nigeria's northeast in 2009. At the height of its might, the group controlled large parts of the region. But since then, the army has made great gains against Boko Haram. While authorities say Boko Haram is all but defeated, attacks are still taking place frequently. The terrible toll the group's taken on civilians will be felt for years to come, and the region will need billions of dollars and likely decades to recover. Kelechi Amekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.